Hi everyone. So today on Celeb Se Charcha, we have Yasir Usman ji, an award-winning journalist, a TV producer, a film commentator, and the author of three biographies: Rekha, the Untold Story; Rajesh Khanna, the Untold Story of a Superstar; and the Crazy Untold Story of Bollywood's Bad Boy, Sanjay Dutt. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Uh, and yeah, the untold story series you have already uh, told the names of Amazing my books. Thank you so much. That's that's a lot of biographies there. My goodness. So, what was the driving force behind you know doing all these uh, biographies? It is obsession with uh, cinema, obsession with Bollywood. That was that has been a constant in my life since childhood. So, uh, like I used to watch each and every film, read all magazines. Uh, I was quite uh, a Bollywood obsessed kid, and uh, when I grew up and came to Delhi uh, uh, for college, and I realized the books uh, available on on film stars and filmmakers are, uh, you know, quite PR driven. Uh, I'm the best. I'm the great greatest kind of uh, 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 books and memoirs and autobiographies. So I was missing that. element that storytelling element that masala element that was so much a part of these uh, film stars lives lives and i realized that i if i want to read some story i must tell it uh, i must write it or i must tell the story in my way that that is how it right. started so 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 when rajesh khanna sahab passed away i was uh, in bombay to make a documentary on his life and then i covered his funeral i met a lot of friends i met uh some of his family members his doctors his close friends co stars and then i realized oh my god this is such a wonderful story and and despite not being a fan of rajesh khanna sahab because he was before uh, because my childhood was all about mr bachchan amitabh bachchan i was a bachchan yeah. fan so but but the story was so fantastic that uh, i immediately realized that no i want to tell this story and then it began and then while writing rajesh khanna a few uh, filmmakers told me that okay why don't you write about rekha ji it's such a wonderful mm. story so that so so i said yeah this is and and i'm uh, more than of course you like the name uh, on the cover of a book and when the book is published uh, you love that but more than anything else uh, it is the process of writing these books meeting those people you know share when they right. share their memories living those eras of uh, film industry 1960s 70s or 80s through their eyes through their memories that that is what makes it so special and so so i love the process of writing these biographies that is more special than biographies itself so uh, you know you you so like i, I mentioned you've done rekha ji's uh, biography rajesh ji's biography sanjay that's biography so what is that one thing if you could say is admirable about each one of them from your point of view you know because you have you know read their stories the back stories so if you could tell us that when i started writing about uh, rajesh khanna uh, i i realized that he is actually the biggest superstar we have ever seen our nation has ever seen of course there is salman khan um, of course there is shahrukh khan there is amitabh bachchan but but for the uh, two to three years phase he he was actually the biggest they call they called him phenomena um, and they actually said uh, that no one uh, uh, after rajesh khanna has achieved those heights of superstar at the same time um, yeah. he was the loneliest guy on earth that is that is when i met oh. uh, so many folks so so that thread of loneliness that was always there in in all my three stories and all my three book uh, uh, that thread of loneliness is is very prominent um, they are actually yeah. talking about it um, so what we remember them for are their films and and their stardom that how big they were you know rekha ji is yeah. a diva rekha ji yeah. the most beautiful person uh in the film industry that's that's what we see normally and we talk about it we yeah. talk about her kanji work we talk about sanjay dutt yes. style or we talk about sanjay dutt uh, has been to jail for certain charges but we what we don't Correct. see is what's in the background what we never get to talk about that's the loneliness part that's how they lead their lives that how lonely they are uh, that was one common thread i think uh, 
in all all three books. In um, all of them. Also, yeah. again, I think we we forget that they are also humans. Yeah, and most of the story are uh, stories are underdog stories. You know, we Pradesh Karna, for example, Rekha came to Bombay from from uh, Chennai. It used to be Madras. uh as as a 14 year old kid uh, pulled out of school because the family needed money so uh, she had to join firms uh, but uh, she was quite abused in that kind of film industry uh, uh, she was not a hindi speaking girl but in a in the course of uh, 15 years uh, she got her first national award for umrao jaan speaking in impeccable Amazing. urdu so the journey yeah. i wanted to capture in the book uh, of course she is a diva and there has been personal setbacks but but she always yeah. made a comeback the story uh, yeah. of rajesh khanna or sanjay dat uh, has been uh, about their comebacks all, yeah. all three stories have been comebacks you know sanjay dat went to jail remained in jails and everyone in the entire nation said that he is a terrorist but yet when he came back and did munna bhai uh, everyone accepted him as you know a do good or mona bhai so that is what makes this stardom special amazing so you know you already i mean uh, successfully experimenting with digital platform also you have your own bollywood website filmmonkey.com so i mean that's yeah. one of the top film entertainment websites so uh, what is i'm sure you think that you know digital platform has has a very bright future uh but what is more uh, more about it that you think which 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 uh, draws you towards the digital platform no it wasn't my website but yeah uh, i work for an organization a news channel right? and that that uh, website belonged to them and i was uh, in the launch team and i worked for the web- okay. website for more than and it did very well uh and and also yes. a very important thing like like you are also mentioning in your question that that uh, is it the future uh, of uh, yeah. the are, are the i don't think they are the future anymore they are the present present so, already uh, that's right yeah. absolutely the present uh, if i talk about india or so many countries uh, for example these days when there is lockdown people are not coming uh, people are not coming out of their houses they are consuming yeah. uh, everything on internet digital yes no more yes. Yeah. and uh, at the same time uh, we talk about digital consumption i think uh, it is not that's just a platform we are, we, we are talking about uh, my books uh, we're discussing my books or film stars on on through a via phone through internet um we can do it on television um television interviews we can do a print interview ultimately what matters is the content so it doesn't yeah. matter if it is consumed through internet it is consumed through digital platform so i think one has to understand that digital platform is just a platform you know it 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 is you know you cannot replace uh, the content, content with, with is still king basically content is still king yes yeah it it It's an easier platform. Everyone has a phone, and yeah. everyone is consuming content yeah. through, through through internet yeah. or through their phone. But but yeah, digital right. uh, has made things easier. Uh, it wasn't uh, as easy yeah. like to to. You are you are not in India. I am sitting here in Delhi, uh, talking. You are having know. a yes. wonderful. So so yeah, thanks to that, and um, and and it's not the future. It is the present, and we have to accept that it's going present. to stay. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. So you know, you've donned so many hats, right? From anchoring to you know, scripting. Uh, you do news-based, uh, you know, TV shows. I mean, of course, you're a writer. But what is it that you enjoy most? Is it writing or is it anchoring? Ah, uh, I I think the basic uh, thing in my profession, in our profession, uh, one has to understand the basic uh, one job. we we have to do is storytelling so yeah. either you write or either you are standing in front of a camera and narrating your story which which you we call anchoring or hosting a tv show yeah. or or you know anchoring a bulletin it is it is one and the same uh, uh, we are in storytelling business and storytelling has been my passion like i have told you yeah writing number one is always writing yeah i consider myself uh, a writer a storyteller more than a writer a storyteller right uh, yeah. 
<laughs> and even as a TV host, I I tell stories. Um, go through my videos. Right. I I do video Bollywood stories. And very you know, purane kisses. The way you narrate them, it really keeps you hooked. You know, amazing storytelling. Really storytelling, and 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 I'm passionate about it. Uh, uh, so so a lot of people are passionate about politics these days. I am passionate about <laughs> Bollywood <laughs> stories of and film stars and films and people related to cinema. So that has been my passion. So so uh, very difficult to compare, but yeah, uh, primarily a storyteller, and then followed by uh, a TV host or or an anchor. Yeah. That's how it looks. Right. So you know, so there are a lot of uh, upcoming storytellers, writers, you know, who want to take this probably professionally. Um, if there are uh, three things that you would like to share uh, to the budding storytellers, what would that be? The three keys, you know, three pillars, uh, as if I can say. Number one is reading. Number two is reading, and number three is reading. <laughs> कहानी जब तक अंदर चार किलो पढ़िए और चालीस ग्राम लिखिए सो आई ऑलवेज सो सो वही है कि वेन यू गेट बिजी वेन आई गेट बिजी विद माई डेली जॉब एंड समटाइम्स द रीडिंग टेक्स बैक सीट एंड बट आई ऑलवेज कम बैक Uh, you know i always come yeah. back whenever i get time and all kinds of books it, it, it's not as if if i am writing about cinema i am only reading books related to cinema no it's not like that it 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 has to be an overall experience i read a lot of non fiction a lot of fiction uh, whenever i yeah. can read so it's not that i am reading a book a day or a, you know it's not like that i'm just you know gyan dene ke liye nahi hai but but it it has always helped that's right that's right that's right as you know from your voice i can make out and i also you know we've got to know from our vishwasniya sutra that you know you you, uh, you sing very well so so maybe so if you can just you know sing a few lines for us maybe something from umrao jaan or if you can recite a nice urdu poetry for us even that would do uh ye jab ye thoda sa phasane wali cheez hai but uh, नहीं बिल्कुल इरादा वैसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है बट एनीथिंग एनी 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 शेयर इफ इफ देयर इज समथिंग दैट कम्स टू योर माइंड सिंस यू यू नो यू इज सच एन एवरेज रीडर आपके जो फेवरेट शायर हैं उनकी कुछ सुना दीजिए हम्म सो देयर इज अ वेरी ओल्ड शेयर आई माय फादर कीप्स ऑन रिसाइटिंग दिस दैट ओके आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस इज जस्ट टू लाइंस के जिनके आंगन में अमेरी का शजर लगता है ना जिनके आंगन में अमीरी का शजर शजर मतलब पेड़ जिनके आंगन में अमीरी का शजर लगता है उनका हर ऐब जमाने को हुनर लगता है और चांद तारे मेरे कदमों में बिछे चांद तारे मेरे कदमों में बिछे जाते हैं ये बुजुर्गों की दुआओं का असर लगता है so... हाँ जो हमसे पहले चले गए हैं यू नो हमारे लिए मुश्किलें उठा के हम सब वही उन्हीं का खा रहे हैं एक्चुअली इट्स इट्स टू टू फॉर ईच वन ऑफ अस आप ये रिंग्स वो वही सब है उन्होंने जुताई उन्होंने करी सारे यू नो खेत की हाँ फसल हमको मिल रही है हम लोग गुजर रहे हैं एज ए नेशन लाइक मैं जिस सोसाइटी में कंपाउंड में बैठा हुआ इट इज सील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कोरोना वायरस थिंग आई होप दिस लाइट एट द एंड ऑफ द टनल और हम सब निकल के आए वापस दुनिया वैसी हो जाए जैसी थी या और बेहतर हो जाए ऑन दैट नोट आई या मुझे लगता है कि अच्छे वक्त एक बार फिर से लवली चैटिंग विद यू स्टे सेफ सैनिटाइज करते रहिए टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम यू वंडरफुल बींग ऑन योर शो थैंक यू वंडरफुल स्पीकिंग विद यू एंड वील बी speaking again once this is over thank you so much absolutely inshallah